Hey guys, what's up? This is Fierce Warrior 11, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an icon for your Game Maker game. Now, this was kind of suggested by a person. I'll put their name on screen now because I actually don't really remember it. But they asked uh, how I actually made my icon for the game, and you know what? I said I'm going to do a quick tutorial on that. So, this is why I'm here today. Alright? So, pretty much, you make your own little picture in a 32 by 32 image. Remember that. It has to be 32 in width, 32 height. You can make it in any program. Paint tool side, paint.net, uh, paint, even MS Paint. Uh, it, could really, it could literally be in anything. Right? So here I just got something that just says, my game. It doesn't really, uh, you know, look that good. Uh, I didn't spend mu much time on it. I actually recorded this a bit before, and I noticed it wasn't recording. My audio was, but OBS was being a little bit stupid. Uh, so now, all you have to do is just, uh, save it. Now, I'm just gonna save it as a PNG on my desktop, obviously. Uh, I'm just gonna call it an icon, because it's gonna be my icon. Now, you just save it. Alright, so now all we need to do is open up something called iframe view. Now, this is a program that lets you convert images, and you can also view images in it, but main purpose of this program is so you can convert your images into more complicated formats such as icon files which is what we're going to be doing today so I'm going to put a link in the description to download this from a website or from you know a tutorial if somebody made a tutorial on it uh, so we're going to open up iPerView alright so it's pretty standard you just got your uh, little you know your little box now all you need to do is just you know find your icon at uh, mine's right here and you just drag it into the program boom it's right there uh, you can view it and whatnot, but I'm not going to really be doing that because why do I need to? And you click the little floppy disk over here so you can save it. Alright, so we're going to save it to our desktop. Now, if we click down here as save as type, uh, you have tons, and I mean tons, of more complicated formats. And find this one that says ICO Windows Icon. This is the one we're going to be using. Now, we're going to call this Icon uh, Formatted. I don't even know. Okay, so uh, we're just going to wait for it to pop up. There it is. As you can see, icon formatted. Now, you can open it, but we're going to need, you know, to open it up in either like paint and stuff. But, you know, we don't really need to do that. All right, so now you can just open up Game Maker Studio and, you know, open up your game. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to be opening up Five Nights of Plus, but I'm not going to change the icon. I'm just going to leave it to the same. I'm just going to show you guys what you need to do to actually change it. So I'll see you guys there once it opens. Okay, so now that my project is actually open, all you need to do is find this thing. It's called Global Game Settings. Now, you just click that, alright? Now, you'll get this little window. I don't see why it didn't pop up. Oh, there it is. Alright, we're going to let it load. Okay, so, you know, we're just right here, and it has a bunch of weird stuff. I'm actually going to probably board this because this might be, uh, you know, private. So, we're going to, you just have to click on the little Windows tab over here. And you'll find uh, your display name and all that stuff. All right. So actually, when you open up a game, sometimes it says "Made with Game Maker Studio." You can update that. You can change that to something else that you want. But I'm not really going to be doing that. All we're going to focus on is this part right here. This is where you change your icon. Now, right here, I have my game icon right there. Find its blitz, the one that everyone will see when they download the game. All right. So I don't really know what display the cursor means. I'm just going to leave that on just to make sure nothing happens. Uh, so right here, all you want to do is click update. Now you just find your, you know, your little uh, file and see mine's right there. I'm not going to actually change it, but you just double click on it. And you know, you can see it just only finds ICO files. That's why we need an iframe view because I can't, you know, put in the PNG file. So you just double click it and boom, you have it in. And now you just click OK. And now, to actually, you know, export your game, you go to File, you go to Create Application, and then you just uh, save it to wherever you want. Uh, you could just call it, I don't know, a Game. And then, uh, you have a little bit of options, but I don't, I only use, I don't use a single runtime executable, which is like, kind of an EXE file, but I don't do that because, uh, 
you know, it won't really work on my system for some reason. It might be like a plug-in to actually do it. So I just use Windows NSIS installer, which is kind of like an installer. And you just save it, and once you double-click on it, uh, you know, it just leads you to a little installer screen, and you can download the game and stuff. And then you can, you know, upload the uh, the installer folder on GameJolt. So yeah, guys, that was pretty much it on how you make, uh, you know, your own icon for your Game Maker games. Hope you guys did enjoy this video, and thanks to that one person for, uh, you know, giving me that idea. And yeah, that's about it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and edit this video. Hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, please be sure to smack that like button, and be sure to subscribe to become a warrior and expand our empire. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.